So, for example, this is your vehicle detail search page. There's a couple of things I want to show on this. Right here, you'll notice that we have the picture, whether you like it or you don't like it. Okay? Look at what I want you to look at as the call to actions. There's the picture, the content, the keyword. They have to have an MSRP and the price. They have their APR that's updated. They have an auto trader they use for the trade and marketplace that they're trying to go out there. There's a big vehicle detail, and then there's four call to actions on the bottom. Get finance, contact seller, send a friend, or check for additional savings. Do I actually have to click on to see anything else if I know that that's the car I want? See, right now, as the consumer is in control when they're on your website, as they're going through this, you can start having call to actions in place to try to help them maybe to get them to the point where they're ready to convert faster. You can be providing them with information. There's a lot of little things. Up at the very top, it's that new Ford for sale in Kansas City, Missouri. This is another little uh, SEO piece I'm going to give you. A lot of people forget about it. It's called your page title. So you have your title bar, your URL, your dealership name.com, you know, forward slash your page. Above that's called the title bar. Then you get to content, then you get the page header. That little thing there, most people would just say new inventory. Well, you're not just new inventory. I'm on new Ford inventory, or new Ford for sale because the word for sale is typed a lot, in a primary city. So if you go back and adjust your title bars, you can get to them. Questions I can go a little bit deeper on that. It will improve the traffic to get your website. And when I say improve it, it'll start right now. Because the next time the search engine crawls, they pick up a page, next thing you know, they see that you're a brand dealer in that city and that you have all these other pages with actual content. Now, here's a little different look. Is there any uh, GM, GM dealers, Chevrolet dealers in here? Okay, for General Motors, you have OnStar, right? Everybody knows about OnStar. It's been out there for a long time. So we put this little call to action here, learn more about OnStar. Uh, Mark Hyde Chevrolet, the real big, everybody goes through, it's uh, that whole experience you have to go through. Um, he's on their board for OnStar. Um, I'm going to come back to this little form here in a minute, but I'm going to show you how this all kind of actually works. Because if I go inside here, you know, here's the video player, you know, here's the vehicle detail page, right? When I land in here, I, I'm looking for more details, right? What are you doing to help me convert? How are you talking to me as a consumer? Um, let's see, can you see that on the side? All right, folks, you can, but I can't see it from here. Uh, but it's basically going to go to uh, the website. You'll notice down that um, we have what are my payments? Um, what is it there? You know, credit estimator. Uh, Alex, this is the example we were talking about at lunch. See down here under the comments, it has a little video player. That video player is the cruise. Now they actually, at this dealership, they used uh, a GoPro to actually do this. He was holding it outside where they're driving it, and they made an experience of every single one of their vehicles. So they took their main product lines, they did a, a silver cruise, and then they posted that on every cruise. That, I, I checked the YouTube page earlier, uh, has 130 clicks on it so far. There are um, heavy duty trucks, which they have now moved up in the top five in the country, at over 6,000 clicks off the YouTube back and forth. Somebody here, they click on it, it actually plays inside the website, but they also have the SEO value from the, uh, YouTube. But this is their real live vehicle. You'll notice the cars up here that they have. They actually you know, click on their vehicles so that you can zoom in. Um, now I want to show you something here. Uh, this is his HD uh, for the uh, heavy duty trucks. He didn't build that demo, he used General Motors uh, some of the information inside General Motors, he just took it, repurposed it around and make it for the dealership. And you'll notice the bottom, 6,776 clips. And it goes through the challenge, and it's basically just that whole General Motors video. And then he had a little clip at the end for, you know, Mark Chevrolet. But he's getting the benefit from both sides of it. Again, he's just optimizing the vehicle detail page to give a little bit more information to the shopper. 